Alright. <laughs> Let's get the live scene going and see. Oh, I'm in the picture, Mama. Mom, get the camera. <laughs> Alright. Hmm? There's no way here. What is this? Oh, this is the. Alright. Watch CJ facing. Uh. I'm gonna turn it down. It's me. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down. I we're open. I closed that door, CJ. There we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, 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 oh. oh. So, I am officially here at the Brick Hotel, and uh, Sunny is about 10 minutes away. So, actually, what I'm probably going to end up doing, I'm going to grab my bag. I'm going to go up to the room um, beforehand, and uh, or should I wait for Sunny? Hmm. Wait for Sunny. I'm going to go up to the room now. Grab. All right. So I'm going to grab my bag here. We're going to run up to the room now. Truck did lock. All right, so they give you these old school room keys like this right here, and it's pretty neat and very. Oh man, there's after hour codes that you have to have to get in this place because they don't staff it. You have to have after hour codes to get in here, like after staff hours. Nice. With that being said, the last time that I was here, <clears throat> there is actually a ghost, and I only know her name by Ophelia. And she did, oh, it's Bernadette. Bernadette is her name, and she is the actual ghost that is going to be in the room with us. She's the actual ghost that is in the room and attached to the room. Tinker Hall number four is the room number that we're staying in tonight. And uh, as you all can tell, I'm rather excited right now. So let me punch this code in to get in here. Okay, guys, so I'm literally in here all by myself. If y'all can remember, that's the restaurant right there, the old safe. We're gonna go head on up. And um, it is getting a little dark outside. I have the room key. Hopefully um, Ophelia does not, she hates when you call her that. Her real name is Bernadette. But Ophelia hates when you call her Ophelia. <laughs> oh man, I got an eerie feeling about tonight. And just the fact that I'm here alone right now in this entire hotel, is what creeps me out more than anything, so. That's cool. Feels a little empty in here. <laughs> Look, guys, I got Sunny this bed right here. <laughs> and um, anyway, this is my bed. This is actually Bernadette's room. That's B for Bernadette on the pillow. We got a little bit of snacks and stuff. So as you all remember, the last time we were in here, that cabinet right there actually was open and then slammed closed. Oh! Really, really weird. Creepy vibes up here. You can actually see um, the Georgetown Circle. And uh, yeah, just a really, really weird vibe that, I, that I'm just getting in this room already. Just being here by myself. All right, let's see. Hello? Ophelia?
Ophelia, do you feel me? Hmm. Oh, man. So... <laughs> So as soon as Sonny calls me, we're going to go down there to him. And, uh, wow, that's a random chair. Mm -hmm. So. I've got a lot of stuff that I packed. Not only clothes, but inside my clothes here, I brought the spirit box, which you guys absolutely love. Also have the EMF meter. As you all can see, this thing is one of my favorite things to mess with, that and the spirit box. It's kind of my go-to stuff when I go exploring and um, ghost hunting, so to speak. Go downstairs. We're actually going to order some pizza as well. Kind of talk about you know, hey, some ghost pizza. experiences that we've had. And I'm also going to tell you all mainly the ghost experience that I've had here at the Brick Hotel. Now, the Brick Hotel is absolutely historic, and I love it. The nature of the hotel, the setup of it, a whole nine yards. The people that run this place are super nice. I want to give a shout out to Garth. Garth is absolutely awesome. Every time I've came here, which is twice now, he has just given the best customer service absolutely possible. You will not find nicer people than right here at the Brick Hotel. So if you ever are coming through the area, you want to go and you know have a ghost experience, or if you just want to stay somewhere on your way to the beach or from the beach, I recommend this place 110%, guys. So, Welcome to Raid Shadow Legends. If you're wondering just what you're getting into, Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play game for your... I'm going to just encourage you to check out the Brick Hotel, Georgetown, Delaware, Google it, whatever you got to do. Awesome people here for sure. And um, I'm going to go ahead and order some Domino's for Sonny and I now. Georgetown, Domino's, please hold. Okay. Okay. Comment below if you just heard that. I swear to you, the lamp over here looked like it moved. That lamp right there. Go now. Ophelia, I'm laying on your bed. Uh, yes, can I place an order for delivery? Yep, what's the address? Um, it's the Brick Hotel here in Georgetown. The what hotel? The Brick Hotel right there on the circle in Georgetown. Yep. Okay. I can look it up. Um, can I get a large pepperoni pizza? Uh -huh. And your uh, stuffed cheesy bread? Uh -huh. And then can I get uh, two orders of your um, icing, your icing cups? Or what? Uh, the icing. Oh, the icing. Yeah. Um, I think that'll do it. What the shit? $28? Golly day. All right, folks. So we're going to go downstairs. We are going to see if good old Sunny Deeds is here yet. By the time we get downstairs, he'd probably be here. <laughs> hey, oh, it's Sunny. Sunny Deeds. What up? You are absolutely nuts. I know, I know. <laughs> and I love it. Gonna be a fun time, Sunny Gonna be a fun time. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it actually looks like someone is watching us in that second window. There's the head, the shoulders. I'm not exactly sure if it's a person looking out that window or what, but it was not there a couple minutes ago because that light came on and then this clearly is just a little strange, but it might be the person from that room for all we know, but I, I just figured this. I would document that because that is a little creepy. <clears throat> be right back.
Alright, chat. You guys can't see me, but uh, I am outside. I had to take the bag out, so. I had my headphones on. So, I thought I'd give you guys an update. Oh, man. Ugh. Pizza and wings is delicious. Name a better combo than pizza and wings. Now, if this video ends up on YouTube, uh, comment down below what your favorite combination of pizza is. Like pizza and wings, or like pizza and breadsticks. I prefer pizza and wings, so. All right, I'm on my way back in. But like, you know, my, have you guys like gone to Walmart? If you have Walmart, you go into Walmart. They already have Christmas stuff. This is weird. Like, why do you already have Christmas stuff? It's barely October. Y'all already have Christmas stuff. I mean, I can understand having Christmas stuff near Christmas, but automatically having Christmas stuff b before, like, November makes no sense to me, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> well, anyway. We're gonna continue to watch this video. Uh, let's see, scary. I need to turn off the light. And turn on the webcam. Light. Can you see me? There we go. So before we get this investigation started, I want to tell you about the three main ghosts that reside here in the Brick Hotel. Number one is Mr. Baker. He is the one that is downstairs in the kitchen. He is known to throw plates, throw knives, break glass. He's really known for that. Sonny's it's not face. uncommon for what? people to come in and see a plate broken on the ground or anything like that. The last time I was here, a couple months back, there was a plate that actually broke. Scared the ever-living shit out of me mm -hmm. while I was exploring. Yeah. I don't know, it kind of like gets me choked up even talking about it, but um, <laughs> it was scary. Number two is Mary. She resides in the central square of the hotel. We'll show you where that is. Last time I was here, I really didn't try to make a contact with her. Really didn't interest me. I think that she does have a pretty nice story to tell us. That's why we brought the spirit box for tonight. Number three and the mm -hmm. final one that creeps me out more than anyone is Bernadette, a.k.a. Ophelia. The room I showed you all in the very beginning of the video is where she resides, and we can actually see it right over here to our right, and it is on the far north side of the hotel. Son, he's not looking and happy. One of the creepiest rooms <laughs> he's of like, and we, nah. we went to all the Tinker Halls. They call it Tinker Hall number four is where this room is. And I can tell you right now, Tinker Hall number four has a lot of weird stuff going on it. When we were in there investigating a couple months ago, my friend Mo and I, actually one of the um, tabletops slammed down. We heard somebody like sit on the bed. It was a lot of creepy stuff that happened in this room. So without any further ado. I'm sorry, Tinker Hall? Tinker Hall, I know. I know. <laughs> so let's get to it. All right, so we're about to head inside right now. And what I need you all to do is keep an eye out and keep your ear. So we're about to head inside to the actual room right now. I need you all to keep your eyes peeled and your ears clearly listening because there's a lot of things that are going to go on throughout this video and throughout the night, and I need you all to be my eyes and ears. You ready, Sonny? Is that Sonny? door open? Well, I closed that door, CJ. Did you really? Yeah, you did, because it slammed shut. Yeah. Nobody was came out here, though. We didn't even go out the door. Hmm. Okay, that's a little strange. I do have my Sprite, or just in case. I'm gonna sprite a ghost. 
<laughs> Spray the ghost. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Dude, that was an instant right now, cold feeling. He's super excited. You got anything my teeth? I'm good. I can't wait for this boogie stuff to start happening. Come on, guys. Oh, no. What the fuck? Son, you hear that? Anyway, carrying on. Am I hearing things or did you hear that? No, I heard like a, uh, like a door close. Okay. All right, let's continue on. We're almost at Tinker Hall number four. <laughs> number four? <laughs> okay, I gotta reach my back pocket. Tinker Hall four. the coldest breeze I've ever felt out of a room in my life. Did you feel that? Yeah, my new are done. <laughs> Although I'm worried about my sprite. I'm going to put it right there. Hey, guys. It's freezing in this room. <clears throat> Ophelia, we're here. Oh, where is it? <laughs> oh, that actually got me. Your phone did. I just spin around. Okay, I don't know if that was in the room when I first came in or not. It was. <laughs> well, There's your bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Sonny. Let me see. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to sleep right here because I know if two people... Ophelia can't fit on this bed. Ophelia and I cannot fit on this bed. But Ophelia and Sonny can fit in that one. Uh, <laughs> He's messing with them. I feel you can't come and cuddle with me. Not unless I want her to. I could, cause I could scoot over and let Ophelia get in here with me. <laughs> but she's got a lot more room in that bed. I feel like that's her bed. So. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing so hard. He's so funny. <laughs> that. <laughs> Tony, I can't believe you, man. No, no, no. That wasn't me. <laughs> Y'all heard that, right? I heard that, right? Yeah. Heard that. I didn't even walk over there. He's already had the shit scared out of him. <laughs> God, we just eat Taco Oh, Domino's. It was Taco Bell at lunch. <laughs> no joke. Okay, on a serious note, though, <clears throat> this thing right here, Sonny, yeah. this thing actually, like, slammed. There's no way that thing... Yeah, dude, that was weird. So, when I was here a couple months ago, this thing actually slammed closed, and I got it on video, and it made the most awfully loud noise ever. I really like the aesthetic of the hotel. It looks really nice. Look, there's two toilets. Wow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow, an ad, come this on. is a cozy little bathroom. What's buff? Buff is cool. And rad. And you can get a bunch of free stuff. Let me explain. Do some. I like it. Yeah, uh-oh. CJ, why? Is there a lock on that door? Oh, wow. You know what? I noticed that the last time I was here. Can we get in? I doubt it, no. You're not good at picking locks? No, not that, not that good. Yep, Tinker Hall 4. That gives you the instructions to get out. You know what I want to do, though? I want to, like, I want to look under the bed. A piece of popcorn. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man. I was looking up under the bed. He has such a large light. You see that crap? He's busting my head. <laughs> oh my god. Your turn. I ain't doing that. <gasps> Did I knock on the door? Oh shit. Hey, I ain't got the key. No, I do have the key. I'll tell you what, I don't know, man. That sounded like... Let me turn this up a little bit. It sounded like hit, something hit the door, though. Man, I am so blurry here. No, when that came You're actually like blurry? You said it was, yeah, mm -hmm. I've been blurry for... Oh, that's bit. great. <sighs> man. I could have swore I heard a voice. There's all kinds of weird stuff. You said that kicked like, on. Oh. I didn't hear it kick on. I heard a voice. Did you really? Ready to go explore downstairs, my man. Yeah, absolutely. CJ, I'm going to leave. Oh, you're uh, blurry. It's, I'm blurry it's, too. Dude, it's, it's been. That's really weird. Yeah. So I feel like you're messing with your camera. You gonna bring your light? Um, no, I don't think I need it. I'm gonna leave it here on the bed. Oh, okay. Guys, look at Sonny's light. Okay? It's huge. So, okay? And then look at my light. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it gets the job done, though. It gets the job done. A, um, Small a light versus light. big light. I like it. Okay. Yeah, I'll get my one up. So. You never know when you light, yeah, stop at the snack machine. Okay, let's split up. You go that way. I'm going this way. Hey. See, brother. Peace. Oh, hey, wait, dude. You got the key, right? Yes, I got the key. Okay. Yep. All right. Cool. I just want to make sure. I yeah, no, outside. you're not locking that out. You're good. <clears throat> what is? Well, that's not creepy left up here is there more rooms or yeah there's not really it's a stairwell it's a stairwell yep okay yeah you just explore around man i'll see you around the big hotel <laughs> no relevance at all. <laughs> just, just be weird. What in the world is that? What'd you drop? Stick your hand in there. something to that little thing but we're gonna keep on exploring here there's a lot of mirrors in this place <clears throat> that's loud Wow. Okay, guys. A little bit weird up here, but nice view. Real nice view, actually. Still a little busy. It's mainly because um, it's not quite very late out at night and this is like a really popular place and if you do come here to the brick hotel be sure to lock the doors back just just out of respect for the guests and the owners
computer. Cool thing is they have free Keurigs here. I did just want to tell you all that. That's pretty neat. Um, here's a fun fact for you. I don't drink coffee. But if I did, I would take advantage of it. Sam. Probably should drink coffee. I got dark circles under my eyes. Man, there are mirrors everywhere around here. Seriously. Another mirror! <laughs> Jesus! Hey, look, guys. I signed my name. I love this place and just want to give a shout out to Garth. Again, super nice. That's weird. Hello? What is Hello? That? Hello? Hello? If you hear anything, comment below. Is it, what is that? Okay, that's bothering me, whatever that is. Literally sounds like someone walking. Holy shit, oh my gosh, that scared the other little out of me. Okay, my Red Shadow Legends legends, we have a spider queen. It clicked the siren right there. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh man, the sirens are out here. Oh, the lights are still out here. Okay, now. This is actually the old bank vault right here. That's cool. <clears throat> and again, you know, you can see they keep it, you know, keep it for supplies and storage. But man, look at the history this thing has. So freaking cool. So awesome. That thing is. Okay, that's not solid steel. That is. Yeah. Wow. Okay, you're not breaking into that thing.
Oh gosh. <laughs> you had a feeling. <laughs> Dude, I've stopped. <laughs> you, I've just, I had to stop. You just scared the shit out of me. Man, that wasn't you funny. Oh, dude. dude, when I come around that corner, I could swear I was hearing somebody walk. Did you come down the hallway? Uh-uh, no. I swear I could hear somebody coming down the hallway, and when I turned around, that damn wooden bench thing was rocking, but by the time I got the camera on it, it That's stopped. weird. That's really weird. Dude, have you gone to the kitchen? There's some, there's there's some weird, weird stuff. Where? Come on, man. This is weird. Bro, I'm telling you right now. Listen, I'm telling you right now. When I was down there. Okay, that was quick. Bro, when I was down there, no joke. I walk into the kitchen area. Nothing's really going on. I'm saying like, hello, is anybody there? Is anybody there? Nothing happened, right? I start walking towards like the bar area. I turn around at the bar. And when I came and started walking back towards like the main dining area, it sounded like it's like a table was like picked up and went, like, bam! I heard a bang. I heard a bang upstairs. I stopped Ooh, and walked over by the dude, stairway. And it yeah. was right behind me. It could have been like three or four tables back max. I mean, it was crazy, man. I'm not going out first. <laughs> I'm not going out first. Screw that. <laughs> Yo, dude. Hello. Is this the ball? Yep. Dude, so come here. I want to show you this real quick. You can kind of like see everything. Like it's really like old school looking and stuff. Oh, and then I was right here. And then if you guys go to my video, I was coming out of this doorway right after I got scared in that other room. And then there's a cop car that went right there and went, whoop, whoop, whoop. Scared the hell out of me, man. I thought I got got. <laughs> All right, so we're just a few hours into the night and... When I was in the restaurant part, it really creeped me out, just mainly because that noise was really unsettling for me. And if you guys heard it, drop a comment below right now. Really weird, kind of strange. I'm just trying to like document everything as I go on, and that way I can come back, I can recap in these type of videos, so. Oh man, I wonder if these are the plates that Mr. Baker broke. That's 1935. <clears throat> wow. Dude, I bet you that are some of the plates and, and silverware and stuff that Mr. Baker broke. <clears throat> Guarantee it. Took a little break, caught our breath a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna actually go back up these stairs here and um, go back to the room. I gotta grab a fresh battery and uh, yeah, we should probably refresh our batteries before we keep on filming, but. Okay. <gasps> Hello? I don't know what exactly I heard, dude. I don't know, but you took off. Oh man, I was like, I could have swore I just heard somebody say, come here. And it sounded like it was down there. That's why I walked all the way back and I walked into that room and I heard two knocks. Three knocks is like dim, demonic, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what two knocks is, but that was weird. That's another area we need to take the spirit box. There we go, absolutely. I'm gonna be surprised if I don't fall down here. 
Man, this is like a stairmaster from hell. There, it, it creaks a lot. My thing is, why don't they keep using the elevator? I know, right? Alright, that's what the keys, that was the keys. <laughs> right? Keeping all your farts in my video. Oh, it's a fart! You're <laughs> 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 I don't know if I want to get too close behind you, CJ. That thing's loaded. I'd, I'd stay as close as possible. I wouldn't whistle. <laughs> I'm crop dusting. <laughs> <laughs> Shot. Oh man. Dude, my shit's dumped out on the fucking bed. What? Oh fuck. It was here on the chair. Hmm. Was it? Yeah, it was. Did you come yeah. back in here? No, I did not. I've not been back in here at all. Bro, for real. And it was your light still. The eye touched your light. Remember when I put my light right there? Does anything else move? That's my batteries on charge down there. Uh, bro, did you use a towel? No, I didn't use a towel. This big towel right here. No. Swear on your life. I be, is it wet? If it was wet, then I may have wiped sweat. But no, I don't remember picking up a towel. No, it's not wet at all. No, I haven't used no towel. We're missing one towel right there, so this has got to be it. You sure you didn't wet your hands? Yeah. No, the soap's not even... The sink's dry. My hand's dry. Okay, that's weird. Bro, what is going on right now? This is my... my... Is that... That was yours, right? Yes. What? Somebody's messing with us, dude. Or something is messing with us, I should that say. That pillow's on the ground now. For real. That boy, that was right there, bro. Yeah, that thing was right absolutely. there. The more I think so about guys, that. go back, well, regardless. But go back and look. My bag, when we walked out of this room, was sitting right on that chair. Dude, that is creepy that as shit. What in the world is going, what See, is going on in here. this hotel? What's what? Oh my gosh, we got another secret door. Wow. Why the hell are all these little doors with know. locks on them? Well, I mean, they might like keep linens or like, you know, supplies in these closets for all we know. My shit's all in the bed. <laughs> I'm more concerned about the towel right now. Well, I'm actually more concerned about that, but then the towel kind of freaks me out now. Because like, that's all your stuff. Was your bag clipped? It was all shut. It was clipped. It was zip tied or zip tied. Drawstring, everything. Sitting right there. The only thing I had opened up was my camera bag. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay. I'm a little freaked out. My battery's dying now. All right. So I've got my spirit box. I just got it out. We're actually going to take uh, this thing. Shit. What? Spirit box, really? Yeah, dude. So we're gonna communicate, my man. You know, let's I'm go. better off if I don't hear it, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> Come on with me. <laughs> Where are we gonna go the first time? CJ's got the key. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna grab the elevator here, and uh, we're gonna go play with the spirit box. We're gonna play with the outside here first, on the patio. Oh my gosh. I walked right through here, like this right here, and it felt like somebody grabbed my arm and pulled it back. Like, not even kidding you. Like, I had the, the arm that my spare box was in. Yeah. I, like, walked, like, right around here, and I was, like, talking to the camera, and it felt like my arm went back, like somebody pulled my arm back. I 
No, no, you mess with me, but you're around. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm way behind you. That's strange. Oh. Bernadette Ophelia, do you like me? Is that a no? Or am I just like maybe hearing that? Uh, that's not, uh, I've heard what could have been a no, yeah. Hey. It's me. Holy shit. <laughs> My heart just dropped. Bernadette, do you know who I am? What'd that say? I thought it sounded like water. You're 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 here at the park. Somebody may have heard something that we didn't. Yeah, somebody you guys might have heard something that we didn't. Um, but we're just trying different areas of the hotel right now. It's not a specific area that we tried right now. We're out here on the on the balcony deck. Beautiful view, by the way. And that's where we figured we'd try first. The second place I want to try is somewhere near the kitchen. And then the third place... Okay. The third place is going to be in our room. And we try to make <laughs> official contact with Bernadette. And I feel like Bernadette is watching us out of her room. I'm going to scare Sonny. I'm in the elevator. Let's break out the spirit box. <laughs> yeah, it's back on the chair where it's supposed to be, where you put it. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get the uh, spirit box all set up and ready. Wow, my camera just went blurry. guest in this hotel and I'm not trying to wake them up. Well, they were already woke. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody better talk to us. I'm getting it. Okay, I got a question when we read off. Is there anyone with us here right now? Any spirits present? Murder? Did that thing just say murder? I heard it. Okay. Someone was murdered here? It's 
six. Six. You heard six? Is that what you heard too? Six? Either six or I thought it said think so. I thought it said six. I don't know if, I don't know if that's true or not. Is there any is there any spirits with us here right now? It's not like it said got you. using these for ear cleaning. They're even banned to use in the United Kingdom. There's not a people. Kind of a tiny got a people. Be honest, I haven't heard really strange. any of these footsteps they're talking you heard about. Footsteps other though, than right? It's not like right outside of our door. Yeah, it's kind of too late for room service. <laughs> Whoa, Sonny D's got his PJs on. Listen, mm -hmm. man, I don't usually wear these things, anything, CJ, but for the sake of the video, yeah, please. I, I've got some, some uh, Walmart special right here, man. Please and thank you. Say, what do you guys wear? What do you guys wear when you go to sleep? They wear Face and Nation socks, actually. They wear Face and Nation Look at them. Socks. Look at them babies. That's the hottest socks in the game. <laughs> what? The hottest, softest, most comfortable pair of socks you will ever own. Go to cjfacing.com forward slash shop. Get your pair of socks. Now, they have Face and Nation on both sides of them. Pretty sick. You can wear them you know, playing soccer. You can wear them with cleats, shoes. You can even wear them uh, with dresses. You know what I mean? Put your high heels on right on after you <laughs> put this Face and Nation socks on. You know what I mean? It'd be great. <laughs> so I'm going to actually set up the camera. <clears throat> you move that pillow? No. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. When I sat down, I didn't even realize it. I have my other socks. I threw my socks right there. I did not move that pillow. I swear on my life, I did not move that pillow. I bet if I get back in my footage, that I guarantee I did not move that. Did you? No, why would I move your freaking pillow? I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. I got to figure out where we want to set up the camera at, guys. Um, I may be thinking over here. Let's see how good of a view this has. If I'm a bean signal, I'm gonna need a double shot of that heartbreak through you. I'm gonna need some whiskey glasses. If I'm gonna make it through. You can't even see me. If I'm a bean signal, I'm gonna need a double shot of that heartbreak through you. <laughs> All right. Mattress, and I'm gonna invite Ophelia. Ophelia? Yeah. And, uh, try to crash here. All right, it's time to go to sleep. Out. Sunny What's is, that? uh, I said, I'm just telling my viewers it's time to go to sleep. Oh, yeah. So, uh, we're gonna leave these running as long as we can until they run out of battery. Tell us if you see or hear anything. Um, yeah, oh man, my feet are hanging off that bed. If she crawls into bed with you and starts rubbing your back, I'm gonna be no good. No good. If she gets, if starts rubbing my back, I'm gonna go to sleep, dude. I feel I don't like being this close to the bathroom. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm serious. I really don't like being this close to the bathroom. We'll close the door. <laughs> yeah. Bro, oh, that's creepy. Oh god, forgive her. Hey, I think I just pulled a hamstring. <laughs> Are you kidding, bro? <sighs> that is not the answer to bed. Where do you get the bed? Yeah, okay. Gas ass. That's not. That's not. <laughs> See, told you. Yeah. I don't hear it. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah! Damn. <laughs> hey, Sonny. Yes. You ever had ice cream for breakfast? Fuck what? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, go to sleep, man. What the hell? Do pigeons have feelings? <laughs> Dude, are you serious? <laughs> I'm just trying to make light of a very weird situation because I feel like Ophelia standing at the end of my bed. Well, ask Ophelia if pigeons have feelings about eating ice cream for breakfast. And you never know. You never know. Hey, Sonny. Dude! <laughs> oh, All right, good night. <laughs> that was you this time. <laughs> you dirty bitch. Oh my god. I bet that one's stung. I bet that one's stung. <laughs> I got hungry. I was hoping it wasn't gonna pick you up. I'm almost had it open. <laughs> what? We just ate freaking pizza a few hours ago. <laughs> just let me finish the back of my pizza, okay? <laughs> I'm truly hungry. Oh. <laughs> Listen, short of putting them on the bed, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Want one? No, yeah. thank you. Sonny, 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 Sonny. Is it the doorknob rattling or are you crunching? No. I, I'm I had a pillow right over my head. I couldn't hear it. I'm telling you right now, it's a doorknob dude. I like how he's just fucking with him most of the time. KDA, should we show him how we do it every day? I'm that close to the doorknob. I know exactly what that would sound like. That is a doorknob. No, I'm not. I'm telling you right now, bro. Is my, yeah, my camera is still recording. Oh my god. Hour and 52 minutes has been recorded. Yo. Ain't nothing going on. There ain't a freaking soul or a ghost in sight. I'm telling you, it sounded like this. It sounded like this. Something along those lines. Oh, wow. Yeah, it literally sounds like something like this. 
It just sounded like a... Bro, that was weird. Dude. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I'm gonna leave the door open now. As long... I know I don't really feel comfortable with the door like that, but... Oh. Something? No. Is that the dresser? <clears throat> I, was, I was looking the other way. CJ. Uh, CJ. Uh, hey, come on. Dude, the damn TV is on. Hmm? What? The TV is on. I'll turn it off. Uh, uh, did you turn it on? Shit. No, I didn't turn it on. What do you mean you didn't turn it on? Guys, okay. Yo, is it over there? Is the clicker over there? Or is it? Popped up on a uh, Domino's commercial. Do you turn it on or no? Dude, the remote was over here by you. Bro, I was sleep. I don't even know if I'm recording still. Yeah, I'm still recording. What the hell is going on, man? You didn't do that for real? Go back and watch. If I turn the TV on, comment below because I was asleep. I was dead, dude. I'm beat. What's that thing at the top of the TV? Oh, what's that? Is that like a camera or something? What is that? I think it's so you can't steal it. Oh. Huh. I know it does kind of look like a little camera. I told you it looks like a camera. That's weird, dude. Oh, no. You know what that is? That's probably for the cable. Yeah, that's the cable thing, dude. That's like where the, the remote. Oh. But you swear you didn't touch that remote? Yeah, I didn't touch the damn remote. I was asleep. Yeah. You trying to click baby right now? You trying to mess with me? No, I'm trying to go back to sleep. I'm, I've had enough with the banging and the TVs and the and the, and the stuff. Oh. God. Okay. 
So, that was a disgrace, I thought it would be. Um, let's look up something else. <sighs> when you have auto glass damage, choose Safe Flight. We can come to you and replace your windshield. There you go. Wow, thank you. Bye. Bye. Don't I really got tired from now. watching that video. Like, I'm not gonna lie, chat. That Explore was fresh exhausting. recipes and fall inspiration. Alright. So, we're gonna watch the most disturbing things caught on doorbell footage. But, before we do that, I will put this in the machine. Oh my god. <laughs> that is creepy. Just the face. Like, just the face. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, chat. I'm gonna get up and walk for a couple of seconds here, but uh, we're gonna take a quick intermission. We'll be right back.
You know, I'm really creeped out by this image alone. Just the clown. I hate clowns. But, uh, let's go back to the lights. Here we go. In this first video, this house's ring doorbell captured a man walk up to the front door in the middle of the night. But rather than actually knocking on the door or ringing the doorbell, the man pretends to do so. At first it seems odd, until you realize what's actually going on. Near the left side of the screen, a car's headlights can be seen. It's clear whoever is driving the vehicle is making this guy walk up and talk to the house owner for a seemingly sinister purpose, as the guy obviously doesn't want to do it. I mean, so much so that he fakes knocking on the door and even fakes a conversation with the house owner, all the while making sure the driver can see him doing so. You can't really see him talking. the fake conversation, it's clear the driver wants the man to look for someone named Matt. One comment guessed the man could have been being forced to rob the place, but didn't want to do it, making him fake the whole situation and claim no Matt lived there. But to this day, the real motives of the driver are still unclear. This footage features a random woman walking up to someone's front door. The woman clearly isn't acting normal or at least until a car passes where she breaks character so as not to draw attention to herself. After the car is gone, the woman can be seen putting her face right up to the camera. She's high. After watching the disturbing footage, the house owner would claim he had no idea who the woman was. This doorbell camera video shows the horrifying early stages of a fire in a neighbor's property. As the video goes on, you can see as the fire gradually continues to grow, so much so that it eventually reaches the house with the doorbell camera. At the time of the fire, the house owner himself was asleep, though he would be woken up by multiple notifications on his phone, claiming motion was detected by his doorbell camera. After reviewing the footage, the house owner would frantically run to get a fire extinguisher and desperately attempt to put the fire out. After realizing it was too late, the house owner would escape through the house's back door. It's pretty safe to say that the motion detected notifications that woke up the house owner saved his life that night. Hmm. The chef's chicken sandwiches from Panera. The familiar made fantastic. This video captured a woman frantically knocking on this house's front door. As she continues to do so, she can be seen constantly looking behind her. And that's when you realize why. A man walks up to the woman and proceeds to grab her firmly, telling her to get into the car. All the while, the woman can be heard pleading for him to stop. later identified to be 20-year-old Victor Kucic, and he would ultimately be charged with third-degree felony kidnapping. 
this ring doorbell starts off showing the house owner simply doing her laundry. Though, before she can even enter the laundry room, she can be seen pausing. And the audio from the clip makes it clear as to why. A voice can be heard desperately pleading for help. Though, it's unclear as to where the voice is coming from. Clearly disturbed, and worried it could have been someone hiding around her property, the woman would end up calling the police. I looked around, I didn't see anybody out on the road or any cars or anything. So I went back to my ring video to make sure I wasn't just courageously hearing something. Somebody saying something, but so, I well, I posted it on there. The police would search the whole property, but find absolutely nothing. And to this day, it's still unclear whose voice was talking, or even where it was coming from. This doorbell camera footage seems to have captured an almost transparent looking figure walking across the house owner's property in the middle of the night. The figure looks to have no face, and seems to slowly become less visible as it continues to move. The audio from the video reveals the noise of very faint footsteps. It doesn't After sound like reviewing the footage like and examining around the property, the house owner found nothing out of the ordinary and it's still unclear what exactly was caught on video that night. The owner of this house would wake up to a notification on his phone telling him motion was detected at his front door. And after reviewing the footage, this is what he found. There was an old woman with a knife just standing at his front door, constantly shifting her body weight from side to side. The woman can be seen awkwardly holding and looking at the knife, as well as constantly glancing all around her. I would have called the police the moment I saw her. After a few more seconds, the woman finally attempts to ring the doorbell, but seemingly can't bring herself to do it for whatever reason. After two minutes of footage, it cuts off. It's still unclear who this woman was, or what caused her to walk up to a stranger's front door wielding a knife. After hearing his doorbell go off, this San Diego house owner would look at his doorbell camera through his phone, and the camera revealed a supposed door-to-door -door salesman waiting outside. The house owner decided to confront the man with the doorbell speaker. And that's when the salesman claimed he was looking for the Robinsons residence at 712, which was not the house he was at. After being informed of this, the salesman would politely apologize for the mix-up. This is the Robinsons residence at 712? Uh, no, you're at the wrong house. It's 721. Oh, I apologize for that. Suspicious of the encounter, the house owner would send the footage to the local police department who, disturbingly, confirmed that this exact man was suspected of breaking into at least 19 homes and impersonating a salesman to do so. The man has yet to be caught by police. Likely taking place during the whole killer clown craze of 2016, this ring doorbell caught the exact moment someone dressed in a clown costume walked up to its front door. The person can be seen tilting their head and slowly walking up to the door almost the whole time staring directly into the camera. While it's most likely just someone trying to scare people, there's a small chance something a lot more sinister is going on here. Is 
Is that a mask? <clears throat> yeah, it's a mask. To this day, it's still unclear whether the house owner experienced anything further regarding the situation. Okay, guy, let's see what you got. Is that a sword? This first doorbell camera footage was taken in broad daylight. A man in at least his 20s is seen selling candy door to door. The homeowner with the camera would open the door for the man. She would then proceed to make a purchase with the actual transaction itself being shown. But shortly after, three more men reveal themselves. They were armed and took advantage of the open door by robbing the woman in her own home. was a setup, with the man selling the candy being in on it. From the start, the intention was to gain the homeowner's trust to get her to open her front door so that they could rob her at gunpoint. The men swiped some of her belongings and later rushed off. A few minutes before this footage was taken, a nearby house's doorbell camera would capture the same man, again seemingly attempting to sell candy. Although, being suspicious, this homeowner wouldn't open the door. Directly after this encounter, the man is shown going up to the house across the street to make another attempt, but this homeowner would also not open the door. The men involved were never caught by police. Okay, I'm not buying candy from strangers anymore. This footage was not captured on the night of March 7th, 2019. Shown is a man stepping on a house's front porch and emptying an entire yellow fuel container just in front of the door. The man then attempts to light the fuel using a small lighter. It's too wet. After failing to catch the fuel on fire, the man gives up and just walks away. As it turns out, he had mistakenly used diesel fuel rather than regular gasoline. Yep. And while gasoline is extremely flammable, diesel fuel is much less so. Had the man used a gasoline, higher point. and he would have no doubt started the house along with himself on fire. In the house at the time was a mother and her two children. When the mother saw the footage, she would call the police who would later identify and arrest the man in his house just across the street. The woman claimed she didn't know the man and had no idea why he would want to harm her and her family. When questioned why he did it, the man claimed he had seen a ghost and was trying to get rid of it, suggesting he was most likely under the influence of something. He was later charged with attempted homicide and arson. Okay. On February 2, 2022, to a contractor in Houston was working in a townhome. At around 6 p.m., the contractor claimed an unknown man that was armed and wearing a mask suddenly appeared inside the townhome with him. The unknown man proceeded to force the contractor into a bathroom, where he then tied him up by bounding his feet and hands. Afterwards, he rummaged through the townhome for over an hour, 
all the while listening to a police scanner to verify the police weren't on their way. And this footage captured exactly that. After taking multiple items belonging to the homeowners, who were out of town at the time, the man found the contractor's keys and drove off with his truck that now contained everything that he had stolen. The man was never found by police, however the stolen truck was. It was found two days later, unoccupied in a nearby restaurant parking lot. But ever since, nothing else has been found. Hmm. This doorbell footage was recorded in the early morning hours of July 26th, 2019. While it's not visible in the footage itself, the house just next to the one with the camera had been completely set on fire. And because of how close the houses were, this made the house with the camera at risk of also being set on fire. Shown in the video are some of the other neighbors desperately trying to warn the homeowners of the threat. Yeah, it's their house is on fire. I know, I'm Fortunately, the loud banging was enough to alert the homeowners to the situation. From there, they would get all the children out of the house as quick as possible. They were then brought to one of the neighbor's houses across the street, far enough away from the fire. But other than some damage to the trees and part of the garage, the house with the doorbell camera was ultimately left untouched. Still though, if any smoke had gotten in there, it would have been damaged. This footage captured an unknown man walking up to the front door of this house. Right away, he leans against the door and tries to open it. He doesn't even knock, but the doorbell camera alerts the homeowner of motion being detected, so the homeowner still gets up to see who it is. Before asking any questions, the homeowner opens the door to see what the man wants. Then, without any hesitation, the man steps inside the house. Naturally, the homeowner saw this as a red flag, and shortly after tells the man he needs to leave. But he didn't listen, forcing the homeowner to have to physically push him out of the house. As the door is being closed on him, the man forcefully punches the glass on the door. But fortunately, the homeowner was still able to close and lock in. The man then continues to stand at the door, trying the door handle, before the video ends. What this man had actually planned is unknown. This hmm. video was taken on the night of August 10th, 2021. A woman is seen returning home from work. She unlocks her door and walks in, but before she can close it again, a man that was armed enters her home just behind her. Shortly after, another man can be seen. The two would demand the keys to the woman's car, and after she gave it to them, they would run back outside to where her car was parked, where they would then drive off with it. Police were immediately called, and only a couple hours later, they would find the stolen vehicle at a stoplight. They attempted a traffic stop, but the vehicle fled. 
The high rate of speed and rainy conditions that night made following it almost impossible, so police had to give up. The vehicle has yet to be found, but the two involved in the theft would be found only two days later. The one that confronted the woman was charged with home invasion, armed robbery, and motor vehicle theft. This happened in Phoenix, Arizona. It's the middle of the night, and this was captured on one homeowner's doorbell camera. A man armed with an actual sword, a hammer, and an axe walks up to the front porch. He then proceeds to steal multiple items outside of the house. Some crazy people out there. At one point, a car drives by, but the man completely ignores it. After a while, he walks off with his bag filled with stolen items, the sword still being held under his arm. While at work, a man in Florida would receive a message on his phone saying someone rang his doorbell. When he checked the live feed, this is what he saw. A man wearing a hat, sunglasses, and bandana is standing at the front door. And disturbingly, he's holding a handgun in clear view of the camera. A doorbell's audio system would ask the man to leave a message for the homeowner. And he does. He claims he lost his dog and wants to look in the homeowner's backyard for it. We can't answer the door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Hey, just wondered if you guys saw Lost Puppy. He's a pit bull. Blue nose. I believe he came in your yard, but I don't want to look without your permission. Hey, you at the wrong house, dog. Hi. After the homeowner came on the speaker and confronted the man, he quickly left with no questions asked. As it turns out, this wasn't the only house he did this to. Police would state that they had gotten multiple calls with the same description of the man and the exact same story. The man was most likely trying to get homeowners to open their door, where he could then threaten them with his gun, and from there do who knows what. In this specific case, he most likely didn't realize the doorbell camera could see his firearm from where he was standing, which explains why he would be holding it out in the open by his side. Police weren't able to identify the man because of everything he had covering his face. Therefore, he has yet to be caught. Okay. Um, that aptly describes how creepy that is. Alright, cool. I'm not gonna shack play a Truly sick world we live in. All right, chat. Um, I'm gonna end it here. Say good night. I got early work in the morning, but uh, y'all doing good? I hope. You know, um, I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, as always, thank you for watching the video. Well, coming to the live stream, and uh, as always, peace. Have a good one.